So yesterday I gave you the difference between RE1 and RE3 and thankfully both are played the same way. So today I will actually show you how to build them and how to play them. So we will start with the build since it's the easy part we'll get it out of the way. Then the most important stuff is going to be about the rotation and that's what I will focus on mainly. So let's start by the build. This is RE3 setup and the RE1 setup you just put level 2 adrenaline and you put remaining energy at 1 and you add curse doll level 3. And for the gems it's the same. Double gems on soul absorber, on moonlight, on void strike, on blitz rush and one damage gem of surge it should be your highest gem. Uh, your highest damage gem and your highest cooldown gem should be Maelstrom. For like here Spin Cutter, you don't need a cooldown for Spin Cutter. You can change this with Earth Cleaver damage gem. But I prefer Spin Cutter so it's a matter of preference. And for the tripods it's pretty simple. Open Weakness quicker up on Spin Cutter. Dark Axle with Swift Finger, Tenacity, High Axle. Soul Absorber on Swift Finger, Fist of Darkness, Halve. Earth Cleaver with Push, uh, Dark Injection if you are doing Stagger, if uh, you're doing something that requires Stagger, like Vicus Bussin for example, you go Dark Injection because it provides more Stag, but most of the time you would use Weak Point Detection with Earth Explosion. For Moonlight Sonic, you go Fist of Darkness, Sustain Enhancement, Shade Sonic, pretty standard stuff. Maelstrom, you go Orb Control, Dark Order. Blitz Rush, Vital Point Hit, Charge Enhancement and Shadow Rush. Void Strike, you go Orb Control, Fist of Darkness and Dark Explosion. And now let's talk about runes. Uh, it's pretty standard. You would need your highest Gale Wind rune on Blitz Rush. You would need also one on Moonlight Sonic. Uh, like this is your kind of uh, preference rune here on Maelstrom. You could put Focus if you're having mana issues. You could put like Purify, you could put Bleed, and you could put like Galewind. I personally don't have many issues, so I pref I think Galewind is the best rune on Maelstrom. Then obviously Stagger Overwhelm on Earth Cleaver. I will always like like protection on Dark Axle. Welt, the highest Welt on Soul Absorber and the purple Welt on Void Strike. And then Rage on Spin Cutter Sans. It's how you start your combo, for since you need the synergy to start DPSing. So it's good to proc that rage. So we got to the most important part of the video, which is the rotation and how you should play the raid. And I will actually try to give you a real like raid scenario kind of thing. And I will start with you from scratch. So obviously you don't start with full orbs. And you need to fill up your like your orbs to do to start doing anything. At this phase, do not try to reposition correctly from the back and try to land everything from the back because it will just result in you losing like a lot of time trying to get 3 orbs. Your priority should be just getting the 3 orbs and that's it. So even if you have to land them from the front, I don't care. Just get the, get the orbs. That's it, get the orbs at the start. Now is where you get to start doing the damage and to do the rotation. Now you should position and go behind the back and the rotation is pretty like simple. You just like enter earth mode into spin cutter into surge and then you activate Maelstrom and you have to squeeze in soul into void strike into blitz rush. The reason I mentioned these three skills, this is your most important skill, soul absorber, the reason I use it first because you're more likely to land it since you're using it early and you're not gonna position and then the bus will turn instantly obviously so you would have a lot of time so this you should care about landing it it's your most important skill especially with my song effect the reason is because it gives you the biggest amount of orbs and it's actually one of your highest dps skills I don't know which one is high. I think that it's the same damage as Blitz Rush, but I think Blitz Rush is better because it has guaranteed crit. So you should be looking to land Soul Absorber every single time. You should not miss it. Void Strike does not provide a lot of damage, but it's actually a good 
like orb filler that's why you use it second and then you follow up with the blitz charge but you should not follow this pattern for every raid and i would like to clear a misunderstanding is when people say remaining is easy you just do the same rotation over and over again it's actually not there is like a massive difference between a good remaining player that adjusts to the raid and the one that just tries to do the same thing over and over because let's say you know the boss patterns you know the hp bars and you know for fact you only have two scales to land and they're like my storm effect you're not going to use void void strike even though i told you to like use it second but that's an ideal situation in a situation when like you don't have time you would be looking to use soul absorber and the blitz rush because they are your highest dps skills so you need to land those and then after you land them then you can like whatever happened if mechanics happens you can go chill and do the mechanic if the bus just turned you can just reposition or you can just use voice strike from the front it's not like a necessity and one really important tip that i would give you is that if the boss is turning or doing something and you were attacking from the back and you know you have to reposition it's always better to stay at your place and use moonlight sonic so you can have time to see where you should reposition this trick is really effective and what i mean by that let's say i did something like this and i did this and after doing this the boss like turned now what most players will try to do is like go behind the boss and try to use blitz rush here if the boss like turned and you can't land back attack anymore moonlight sonic is not back attack it's like it's like kind of hit master so you're not gonna lose damage attacking from the front with moonlight sonic so it's better to use moonlight sonic and then go from the back reposition and hit surge and enter art mode hit surge and do the rotation from scratch you would have better uptime that way than repositioning and then hitting like your blitz rush and you might say but blitz rush is a lot of damage you have to understand blitz rush doesn't like not using it here in this scenario doesn't mean it's gone it's lost because you would start your next rotation with it after using surge because remaining has this problem when you have lower cooldown gems where there is like a slight downtime on cooldowns what i mean by that if you see here i would do this so here i would use everything so you can see so here i entered art mode and not everything got refunded like there is few seconds there i get everything so during these few seconds you lose a lot of dps because you don't have high cooldown jumps so it results in a lack of uptime and that's why you don't actually lose dps when you delay blaze rush to the next rotation because if you do something like okay i'm going to show you if you do something like this and you fail with moonlight instead of blitz rush and you go behind the back and you surge you get to use blitz rush instantly and you don't have to wait for the cooldowns and that means you will get better uptime because the moment a blitz rush finish like uh, casting you would have my strong back on and you can get straight into your next rotation so these are like your three advice that i would give you and just like adjust to the raid that's like the perfect advice i would give you if you want to play remaining do not listen to people that says remaining is brain that just use the same skills over and over no like when you play a lot you would realize that every situation is different and the order of your skills would always be different depending on which situation you're on and good luck in all your future raids